Have you ever felt lost and disconnected, like there's a void in your life that you can't quite fill? Do you sometimes wonder if there's a higher purpose or a message you're missing, especially when life feels overwhelming and uncertain? What if the answers you've been seeking are closer than you think, and all it takes is opening your heart to listen? In times of doubt and confusion, it's easy to feel isolated, as if no one truly understands the struggles you're going through. But what if you knew that a divine presence is reaching out to you, offering guidance and comfort? What if Archangel Gabriel a celestial messenger has an urgent message for you from God, waiting to be heard. Imagine the impact of receiving divine wisdom tailored just for you, a message meant to guide you towards clarity and purpose. In this video, we're diving into the profound experience of being a chosen one, someone who has been called to receive and act upon divine messages. We'll explore the transformative power of divine communication and how God's words delivered through Archangel Gabriel can bring light to even the darkest moments. Whether you're seeking direction in life, struggling with faith, or simply curious about your spiritual path, this message has the potential to reshape your journey. Join us as we uncover the steps to recognizing and embracing these divine messages. Learn how to align your life with a higher purpose, strengthen your faith, and find the courage to act on the guidance you receive. Don't miss this opportunity to connect with the divine and discover the profound impact it can have on your life. Your spiritual awakening could be just a message away. Imagine you're holding a walkie-talkie, but instead of connecting with another person, you're connecting with a higher power, like God. This special connection is what we call divine communication. It's like a secret channel where you can receive important messages that can help guide you in life. Have you ever felt unsure about a big decision, like choosing a new hobby or making a new friend? Sometimes when you're not sure what to do, it feels like you're stuck in a maze without a map. This is where divine communication comes in. It's like getting a special message that helps you find the right path. Archangel Gabriel is known as a messenger who brings these special messages from God. Think of Gabriel as a kind and wise friend who always knows what to say to make you feel better and more confident. When Gabriel brings a message, it's often about important things like love, kindness, and finding your purpose in life. It's like receiving a heartfelt letter from a loved one who really cares about you. But how do you receive these messages? It's not always about hearing words out loud. Sometimes it's a quiet feeling in your heart, a sudden idea or a peaceful thought that pops into your mind when you're praying, meditating, or just sitting quietly. It's like a gentle whisper that guides you towards what's best for you. For example, if you're feeling sad or worried, a message from God through Gabriel might remind you that you're never alone and that you're loved just as you are. It might encourage you to reach out to a friend or to do something kind for someone else. These messages can bring comfort and hope, especially when you're feeling lost. It's important to be open and listen carefully. This doesn't mean you have to sit quietly for hours. You can listen while you're doing everyday things, like walking in nature, drawing, or even just daydreaming. The key is to keep your heart and mind open, ready to receive guidance. When you start noticing these messages, it can feel magical, like discovering a new friend who always has your back. This divine communication helps you make better choices and feel more connected 
to something greater than yourself. It's a wonderful way to feel supported and loved, knowing that you're on the right path and that everything will be okay. Personal reflection is like holding a mirror up to your inner thoughts and feelings. It's a quiet time you take for yourself to think deeply about your life, your actions, and your choices. Imagine it as pressing the pause button on a busy day to check in with yourself and see how you're doing. Have you ever felt overwhelmed with schoolwork, friendships, or family issues? It can be hard to sort through all the thoughts and emotions swirling in your mind. Personal reflection helps you make sense of these feelings. It's a bit like cleaning up a messy room. Once everything is organized, you can find things more easily and feel more at peace. During personal reflection, you ask yourself important questions. What made you happy today? What was challenging? How did you handle a problem and what could you do differently next time? By asking these questions, you start to understand yourself better. You learn about what makes you happy, what stresses you out, and how you can improve. One great time for reflection is before bed or during a quiet moment in the day. You can think about what happened what you learned, and how you felt. Sometimes you might realize you handled a situation well, and other times you might see where you could grow. This isn't about being hard on yourself. It's about learning and growing. Personal reflection also involves thinking about your goals and dreams. What do you want to achieve? How can you get there? Reflecting on these questions helps you stay focused and motivated. It's like setting a destination on a map. Even if the journey is long, you know where you're heading. Another part of reflection is being grateful. It's easy to focus on problems, but taking a moment to appreciate the good things in your life can make you feel happier. You might think about a kind thing someone did for you a success you had, or something beautiful you noticed. Gratitude helps you see the positive side of life even when things are tough. Reflection isn't just about thinking, it's also about feeling. It's okay to feel sad, happy, angry, or excited. By reflecting, you acknowledge these emotions and understand why you feel them. This helps you handle your feelings better and improves your emotional health. In summary, personal reflection is like having a quiet conversation with yourself. It helps you understand who you are, what you want, and how you can grow. It's a valuable tool for becoming a better, more thoughtful person. So take some time each day to reflect and connect with yourself. It's a journey worth taking. Spiritual alignment is like tuning an instrument so it plays beautiful music. Just as a guitar needs to be in tune to sound its best, we need to align our thoughts, actions, and beliefs with our spiritual values to live a harmonious life. Think about a time when you felt uneasy or out of place, like you're not being true to yourself. Maybe you did something because of peer pressure or you felt like you were pretending to be someone you're not. These moments can feel uncomfortable because they pull you away from your true self. Spiritual alignment is about bringing yourself back to a place where your actions match your true beliefs and values. One way to achieve spiritual alignment is by understanding what's really important to you what do you believe in? What values do you hold dear? For some people, these might be kindness, honesty, or helping others. When you live according to these values, you feel more authentic and at peace. 
It's like following a compass that always points you in the right direction. Another aspect of spiritual alignment is being mindful of your actions. This means thinking about how your choices affect not just you, but also the people around you. For example, if you believe in being kind, you might choose to help a friend with their homework or stand up for someone being bullied. These actions reflect your inner values and help you live in alignment with your spiritual beliefs. Sometimes, aligning with your spiritual values means making tough decisions. You might need to say no to things that don't feel right or let go of habits that aren't good for you. This can be challenging, especially if it means going against the crowd. But staying true to yourself and your beliefs brings a deep sense of satisfaction and peace. Spiritual alignment also involves listening to your inner guidance. This is like having an internal GPS that helps you make decisions. When you're in tune with your spiritual self, you can feel this guidance more clearly. It might come as a gut feeling, a sense of knowing, or a quiet voice inside you. Trusting this guidance helps you stay on the right path and make choices that align with your true self. Additionally, spending time in reflection, meditation, or prayer can help you stay aligned. These practices allow you to connect with your inner self and the higher power you believe in. They offer a space to check in with your feelings and thoughts, helping you adjust your actions and attitudes as needed. Spiritual alignment is about living in harmony with your deepest beliefs and values. It's like tuning in to the best version of yourself and expressing that in everything you do. By staying true to who you are and what you believe in, you can create a life that feels authentic and fulfilling. Embracing change is like riding a wave at the beach. At first, it might seem scary or unpredictable, but once you learn to go with the flow, it can be an exciting and rewarding experience. Change is a natural part of life, and learning to accept it can help you grow and discover new things about yourself and the world around you. Imagine you have a favorite routine, like always eating the same breakfast or hanging out with the same friends. It's comfortable and familiar, and it feels safe. But sometimes, life brings changes. Maybe you have to move to a new school, try a new activity, or meet new people. These changes can make you feel nervous or anxious because they're different from what you're used to. However, embracing change means being open to new experiences and understanding that change can be good for you. It's like opening a door to new opportunities and adventures. For example, trying a new hobby could help you discover a hidden talent, or making new friends could introduce you to different perspectives and ideas. Even though it might be uncomfortable at first, change can lead to personal growth and new possibilities. One way to embrace change is by being flexible and adaptable. This means not getting stuck in one way of thinking or doing things. If something unexpected happens, like a change in plans or a new challenge, try to see it as an opportunity rather than a problem. Being adaptable helps you handle surprises with a positive attitude and find creative solutions. Another important aspect of embracing change is having a growth mindset. This means believing that you can learn and grow through new experiences, even if they're difficult. Instead of thinking, I can't do this, try thinking, I can learn from this. With a growth mindset, challenges become chances to improve and learn new skills. 
It's like seeing life as a series of lessons that help you become a better version of yourself. Sometimes, change can bring loss or disappointment, like losing a game or not getting the grade you wanted. It's okay to feel sad or frustrated when things don't go as planned. But embracing change also means learning to let go of what you can't control and focusing on what you can do next. It's about finding strength and resilience in difficult times and moving forward with hope and determination. Embracing change is about being open to new experiences and willing to grow. It helps you navigate life's ups and downs with confidence and curiosity. Remember, change is a chance to explore new paths and discover more about yourself. So, the next time you face a change, try to see it as an adventure waiting to happen. You might be surprised at what you can achieve and how much you can grow. Strengthening faith is like building a strong, sturdy bridge that can support you through life's ups and downs. Faith is the belief and trust in something greater than ourselves, like a higher power, God, or even the goodness in life. It's what helps us stay hopeful and calm, especially during tough times. Imagine faith as a tiny seed planted in your heart. Just like any seed, it needs care and nurturing to grow. Strengthening your faith means giving it the attention and time it needs to flourish. This process can help you feel more grounded and less worried, even when things don't go as planned. One way to strengthen faith is through prayer or meditation. These are moments when you can connect with your inner self and the divine. It's a time to express your hopes, fears, and gratitude. Think of it as having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with a trusted friend who always listens and understands. This practice can bring a sense of peace and remind you that you're not alone. Another way to build your faith is by reading sacred texts like the Bible, the Quran, or other spiritual books. These texts often contain stories and teachings that offer wisdom and guidance. They can inspire you and provide answers to life's big questions. It's like reading letters from wise people who have experienced life's challenges and found ways to stay hopeful. Being part of a community can also strengthen your faith. Whether it's a church, temple, mosque, or any spiritual group, being around others who share your beliefs can be comforting and inspiring. You can share your experiences, support each other, and learn together. This sense of belonging can make your faith feel stronger, like a tree with deep roots. Facing challenges is another important part of growing your faith. Life isn't always easy, and sometimes we face difficulties that test our beliefs. During these times, it's natural to feel doubt or fear. But instead of seeing these moments as setbacks, try to see them as opportunities to deepen your faith. Just like a muscle that gets stronger with exercise, your faith can grow stronger through challenges. By trusting that things will get better and staying hopeful, you build resilience and strength. Practicing gratitude is also a powerful way to strengthen faith. Take time each day to think about the things you're thankful for, whether big or small. It could be as simple as a sunny day, a kind word from a friend, or a good meal. Focusing on the positives helps you see the goodness in life, even when things are tough. It's like collecting little moments of joy that remind you of the blessings in your life. Strengthening faith is about nurturing a deep belief in something greater than ourselves. It involves connecting with the divine, learning from spiritual teachings, being part of a supportive community, 
facing challenge with hope and practicing gratitude. As you strengthen your faith, you build a strong foundation that can support you through life's journey, helping you stay positive and resilient no matter what comes your way. Acting with purpose means making choices and taking actions that align with your values and goals. It's like having a clear map or compass that guides you through life, helping you make decisions that feel right and meaningful. When you act with purpose, you're not just going through the motions. You're doing things with intention and thoughtfulness. Imagine you have a favorite hobby, like drawing, playing sports, or helping others. When you engage in these activities, you often feel happy and fulfilled because they align with what you love and value. Acting with purpose is about bringing this same sense of fulfillment into all areas of your life. It's about understanding why you do what you do and making sure it reflects who you are and what you believe in. One of the first steps to acting with purpose is identifying your core values. These are the principles that matter most to you, such as kindness, honesty, creativity, or perseverance. Think of these values as the foundation of a house. They support everything you do. When you're clear about your values, you can make choices that are in line with them, leading to a more authentic and satisfying life. For example, if one of your core values is kindness, you might choose to volunteer at an animal shelter or help a friend in need. These actions reflect your value of kindness and give you a sense of purpose. On the other hand, if you find yourself in situations that don't align with your values, such as gossiping or being unkind, it can feel uncomfortable. Recognizing this discomfort can be a signal that you need to realign your actions with your values. Setting goals is another important part of acting with purpose. Goals give you direction and motivation. They help you focus on what you want to achieve and how to get there. For instance, if you love art, you might set a goal to improve your drawing skills or create a portfolio. Working towards these goals gives you a sense of progress and accomplishment. It's like climbing a mountain. Each step you take brings you closer to the summit. It's also important to reflect on your actions and decisions regularly. This reflection helps you check if you're still on the right path or if you need to adjust your course. It's a bit like steering a ship. Sometimes you need to make small changes to stay on course. By regularly reflecting, you ensure that your actions continue to align with your purpose and values. Another key aspect of acting with purpose is understanding the impact of your actions on others and the world around you. When you act with purpose, you consider how your choices affect your family, friends, community, and even the environment. This awareness helps you make decisions that contribute positively to the world, making it a better place for everyone. Acting with purpose is about living intentionally and making choices that reflect your true self. It involves knowing your values, setting meaningful goals, reflecting on your actions, and considering the impact of your choices. When you act with purpose, you lead a more fulfilling and authentic life, guided by a clear sense of direction and meaning. It's a powerful way to create a life that feels true to who you are and what you believe in. Being open to divine guidance means being receptive to messages and signs from a higher power, whether you call it God, the universe, or any other spiritual force. It's like tuning into a special frequency that offers wisdom and direction. 
helping you navigate life's challenges and opportunities. This guidance often comes in subtle ways, like a gentle nudge, a feeling, or a sudden insight, and being open to it can lead to greater clarity and peace. Imagine you're on a journey and you have a guide who knows the way, even when the path gets tricky. This guide wants to help you, but you have to listen and trust them. Divine guidance works similarly. It's like having an invisible compass that helps point you toward the best choices for your growth and happiness. Being open to this guidance means being willing to listen, even when the messages might not be what you expect or want to hear. One way to be open to divine guidance is by quieting your mind through meditation or prayer. In these moments of stillness, you can connect more deeply with your inner self and the divine. It's like finding a quiet place in nature where you can hear the soft sounds around you, which you might miss in the noise of everyday life. By creating a peaceful space, you make it easier to receive subtle messages and insights. Another aspect of being open to divine guidance is paying attention to signs and synchronicities. These are meaningful coincidences that seem to come at just the right time, offering a hint or a confirmation of something important. For example, you might repeatedly see a certain symbol, hear a specific phrase, or meet someone who shares a message that resonates deeply with you. These moments can feel like the universe is speaking directly to you, guiding you toward a particular path or decision. Trusting your intuition is also a crucial part of being open to divine guidance. Intuition is like an inner voice or feeling that gently guides you. Sometimes it can be a strong sense of knowing what to do next, even if it doesn't seem logical at the moment. For instance, you might have a gut feeling to take a different route home, which leads you to avoid an unexpected traffic jam. Listening to these intuitive nudges can help you make choices that align with your highest good. It's important to approach divine guidance with an open and humble heart. This means being willing to let go of your own plans and desires if they don't align with the guidance you receive. Sometimes this can be challenging, especially if it means making difficult decisions or stepping out of your comfort zone. However, trusting in a higher power's wisdom can lead to surprising and rewarding outcomes, even if they differ from your original expectations. Lastly, being open to divine guidance involves being patient. Answers and signs may not always come immediately or in the way you expect. It's like planting a seed and waiting for it to grow. It takes time and care. Trust that the right guidance will come at the right time and in the right way. Being open to divine guidance is about being receptive to the subtle ways a higher power communicates with you. It involves quieting your mind noticing signs, trusting your intuition, approaching with humility, and practicing patience. By doing so, you can navigate life's journey with a sense of support and assurance, knowing that you are being guided towards your highest good. Living with integrity means being honest, trustworthy, and consistent in your actions, even when no one is watching. It's about staying true to your values and principles and doing the right thing, even when it's difficult. Integrity is like the solid foundation of a building. It holds everything up and keeps it strong. When you live with integrity, you build a life that is stable and respected by others. Think about a person you admire for their honesty and fairness. This person likely acts the same way in all situations, 
whether they are with friends, at school, or at home. They don't change their behavior to fit in or impress others. This consistency is a key part of integrity. It means being the same person in all areas of your life and making choices that reflect your true beliefs. One important aspect of living with integrity is being truthful. This means being honest with yourself and others, even when the truth is hard to say. For example, if you make a mistake, having integrity means admitting it and taking responsibility. It's easy to make excuses or blame others, but owning up to your actions shows courage and builds trust. Being truthful also means avoiding deceit, lies, or half-truths, and speaking openly and honestly. Another aspect of integrity is keeping your promises and commitments. When you say you will do something, following through is a sign of respect and reliability. For instance, if you promise a friend to help with a project, keeping that promise shows you value their trust and your own word. Even small commitments, like being on time or completing tasks, are important. They show that you are dependable and take your responsibilities seriously. Integrity also involves standing up for what is right, even when it's not popular or easy. This could mean defending someone who is being treated unfairly or speaking up when you see something wrong. It takes bravery to stand by your values, especially when others might not agree. However, acting with integrity means prioritizing what is right over what is easy or convenient. Living with integrity also means treating others with respect and fairness. This involves being kind, considerate, and fair in your dealings with everyone, regardless of their status or how they treat you. For example, treating everyone with kindness, from friends to strangers, and being fair in all your interactions shows that you value justice and equality. It's about giving everyone the respect they deserve Integrity can sometimes require making difficult choices, like choosing not to participate in gossip or cheating, even if others are doing it. It might also mean declining opportunities that don't align with your values, even if they seem tempting. While these decisions can be challenging, they reinforce your commitment to living a life of honesty and respect. Living with integrity is about being honest, reliable, and fair in all aspects of your life. It means staying true to your values, keeping your promises, standing up for what is right, and treating others with respect. <laughs>